Today on Thai Caliente, we're going to be making caldo de res, which is a Mexican beef soup. And I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make in the Instant Pot. To start making the caldo de res, we are going to use beef bones as well as a two pound chuck roast. And I have half of a white onion that I've left whole or halved, as well as two whole garlic cloves. The recipe does call for four, but these were pretty big. So if you do not have um, a beef bone like I do here, you can use a bone from a steak or you can make it without it. Just keep in mind that the beef bone does give it more flavor. So we're going to add the sliced chuck roast and the beef bone as well as the onion and garlic into the Instant Pot and then we're going to fill it up with water. I have an 8 quart Instant Pot but depending on what size you have, just fill it all the way up to the max and then go ahead and set the timer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, go ahead and release the steam from the Instant Pot. And now I'm just gonna scoop out the onion and garlic, as well as some of the fat and residue that is on the side of the Instant Pot. So go ahead and take that out, as well as if you added beef bones, then you'll take out the beef bone as well. Once you've removed the bone and residue, go ahead and add some salt. I ended up using about a tablespoon and a half of salt. So now for the final phase of the soup, we're gonna add in all of our vegetables. So I have two ears of corn that I've just broken in half, as well as a russet potato that I've diced, some diced carrots, zucchini, as well as some whole green beans that I'm going to add in there and a third of a cabbage head that I've just kind of left quartered. So put everything in there. It should still um, fit. If there's too much liquid, then you can remove some liquid. And I'm just adding a little bit more salt since I tasted it and it needed a little bit more. Add the lid back on and set your timer for just five minutes. Quick release the pressure and our caldo de res is completed. So go ahead and serve it warm either with some corn tortillas, Mexican rice, a healthy squeeze of lime, and some chopped cilantro, and you have yourself a hearty, cozy soup. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Leave me any comments that you have below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye.